Welcome to La Trobe University here at Bandura for the running of the Athletics Victoria 15 kilometre championship. All the junior races uh, began before the main senior race and it was run over 5k. The winner overall in the under 20 division there was Dua Yarra from the Ballarat region. First across the line in the under 18s was Alex Davis from Ballarat YCW. The under 16 winner was Sam Quirk from South Coast Athletics. And the winner of the under 14 5K was Zachary Rouse from Morning Peninsula, just ahead of his twin brother, Jordan Rouse. The women's under 20 champion was Lisa Stanton Smith from uh, Keelis and Bernards. First across the line in the under 18s was Samantha Cardley from Doncaster. The under 16 winner was Aaron Rayner from Athletics Essendon. And the winner of the under 14 was Samantha Prime from Knox. The 15 kilometre race was run over a 5 kilometre course on the roads of La Trobe University and very early in this large field Clinton Parrott was already showing signs of taking an early leadership with Steve Monaghetti running with him. As the race progressed Clinton put the pressure on but Steve was staying there with him along with his teammate from Ballarat YCW Shane Nankervis. However, Clinton Perrot, who's having a great season, having run brilliantly at Sandown a few weeks ago, started to really exert his influence on the race and slowly pulled away. As they headed into the final lap, Clinton Perrot really exerted his influence over the race and started to have a commanding lead. He pulled away from Steve Monaghetti, who was still holding at bay his teammate Shane Nankervis, but Clinton ran away with the race at the finish to win comfortably. I came in to go around 46 minutes or thereabouts, so just off that, so it wasn't too bad. Went through 10k and right on time and uh, sort of held it together in the last lap, which is good. Yeah, pretty happy. And uh, tell us where you make, made the decisive move. Um, uh, I didn't really make a decisive move. I tried to just hang on as long as I could and just grind away, probably out towards the last lot of hills before it got to the flat section. I thought I didn't want to do it before the, uh, the hills were over. I want to get out of the hills first. So what are you up to these days, training, training and racing wise? No, oh, I just yeah, training with a group in Ballarat, you know, Shane, and we've got a good pack up there, a lot of juniors. So, you know, we're in a really good phase in Ballarat. So it's just great to be a part of. That's what I do. It's what I like doing. So it's nice to be able to, you know, I still train pretty hard. So it's good to have a race like this to be able to just put that training to good use. And you know, you get results like today, and it makes it worthwhile. And did the course suit you today? Yeah, I think so. The longer the better for me, and a few hills in there to to um, break it up a little bit and you know, stop those faster guys. So, no, it was good, yeah, I liked the course. Uh, have you got more marathons planned or are you focusing on uh, AV winter? Yeah, I think I'll just focus on the AV winter and have a break from marathons for a while and give my body a rest. I think it deserves a rest after a while and um, just, yeah, focus on the AV stuff. The winning race was a very tight race between Renata Wiss from Melbourne University and Susie Mickelson from Collingwood. And the two of them ran together for... A large part of the race with Isabella Di Costello from uh, APS shadowing them. Susie Mickelson started to really pressure Renata and pulled ahead. And uh, but Renata was not going to be denied this race and eventually on the final lap started to again pull away and she won the race not by a large margin from Susie Mickelson. Isabella Di Costello having one of her best runs in the, uh, the season, finishing in third place. And, what, and uh, can you explain why you're here in Australia? Oh, it's, uh, my boyfriend is Australian, that's probably the main reason, and as well I'm studying here, so, and I really like Australia, it's such a beautiful country, and it's really good for running, so, and that's what I want to be good at it, so that's, that's actually the reason, yeah. Is your boyfriend anybody we might know? Is he an athlete? Yeah, it's Clint Ferret. Oh, he won today as well. So. <laughs> a big celebration for you guys tonight. Yeah, well, definitely. <laughs> yeah, no, that was good. It was actually um, seven minutes quicker than last year. Um, last year I came back from having a bub. So, um, yeah, step in the right direction and it was um, 
good competition out there today. Oh, well, we actually, we were together pretty much most of the way and I probably um, worked the heels a bit too hard in the second lap instead of the third lap. So, um, yeah, at about 12k, Renata pulled away and made a gap and just sort of held that gap to the finish line. Whilst we tend to concentrate a lot on our top athletes, we must bear in mind that Division 2 of the road season is a very highly competitive group of athletes and we took the opportunity to speak to some of the representatives from these clubs. <laughs> well, we're very happy with the season so far because uh, we've really focused on trying to get straight back up into Division 1 and we've got some good runners out the front in Grant Morgan and Liam Delaney and in a good big group of our distance training group who are really enjoying racing as many times as we can and it's going very well. We're at the top of the ladder at the moment fighting it out with Mornington Peninsula and Bendigo and fingers crossed we'll be back in Division 1 next year. From the run we have Raylene Warren here from Ringwood who ran in Division 2 for her club. Tell us how it went for you today Raylene. Well, uh, 15 kilometres is a very long way for a hammer thrower, but um, I think we, the team did quite well. Um, but most of the girls ran pretty fast and they were really happy with their times. Well, it's been some years since Ringwood have been able to fulfil a full team, so um, they got a bit desperate. <laughs> now, I like a bit of a challenge, so we're just uh, changing things up a bit. Raylene, your aspirations for the club for Division 2? Um, yeah, we'd like to um, come away with the end, at the end of the season with a win and hopefully get into Division 1 next year. And do we expect to see you at the next uh, cross-country and road event? Uh, yeah, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Raylene. We wish you all the best. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed the coverage of Victorian Championship 15K road race here at uh, La Trobe University. On behalf of Athletics Victoria, this is Jeansy signing out. Special message for your fans back in Switzerland. Oh, it is what I say. Hello, my dear Fatih, and all the Christians in the Afghans' life. Yeah, that's it.